Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today guys, I have got a huge Primark haul. <laughs> So yes guys, today's video, it's a Primark haul. I think this might even be, like my record, I have got three big bags full. I've just taken a picture for this video and it was a little struggle to hold the bags up, but I'll do it for you one more time. Okay. So yeah, I've got three bags, three big bags. I think my record's two, I don't think I've ever gone up to three. I don't know if I've ever kept it to just one, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but I've got a varied mix of bits and bobs. I went in because I had um, Christmas money left and I had vouchers from Christmas. Um, so I wanted to spend them, I saved them to go to Primark. Uh, I wanted a couple of bits and bobs. Um, I wanted to get a bag somewhere between having a big rucksack and my little Disney ones, somewhere in between. Was successful with that, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, the other bits I kind of wanted, I didn't find everything. Um, we've got a couple of nights out planned recently, we just had one, um, and I was hoping to get some kind of nice night out outfit, kind of smart, casual, some virgin on the smarter side. They had nothing, Primark had nothing. Um, it's very casual um, this time of year, apparently in there, unless you really, really stick thin because there was a lot of really tight, tight fitted stuff that I just wouldn't have felt comfortable in that I probably could have got away with for a night out if I was up for skin tight clothes, which I'm not, you know me, I'm all about the baggy life. <laughs> um, but I did since find some bits from ASOS actually that I bought myself, so that's fine. And um, those are the bits and bobs I went in for. Why am I talking about the bits and bobs I didn't get? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the bits I did get. So what I'll do is I will show you my clothes first and as ever I will insert a clip of me trying them on for you. Um, trying to think most of which I haven't actually tried on. There's a couple of bits I did try on when I got home just to make sure they fit. Everything as far as I'm aware fits. Hopefully. <laughs> so like I said we will start with clothes. Like I say I found a lot of it very casual there was a lot of lilac in there, which I love. I'm all about the lilac. I've got a lovely lilac jumper, but again, a lot of it, very fitted, very stick, thin, friendly. Um, yeah, so just wasn't really for me. There was a couple of nice pieces. Um, and maybe I'll get there. Maybe I'll be happy in body tight things. Um, anyway, I'll start. It took me a while to put anything in my basket, to be honest. I had a little meander. Um, but I think actually what's on the top of this bag was the first thing I put in my basket, so I'll show you that. Firstly, and actually not something that I would technically traditionally go for, um, firstly, it's green. Secondly, it's a shirt. Not like a big shirt wearer, but it's like, you know, like a nice kind of tartan shirt thing. It's quite oversized, which I like. Um, it dips lower at the back than the front. Um, so I just, in fact, I'd gone in wearing like a very pale grey, ca grey, green cardigan that I got in my last Primark haul. And, um, while I was there, I thought, you know what, I quite like wearing this green. Go a little bit darker, a little bit more foresty green. So I got this shirt, um, I got it in a size 10. It's quite oversized, but you know, 10, 12 tends to be about where I am. And I thought it was a bargain. It was nine pounds. You know, I thought nine pounds, it's something that you could probably dress up a little bit you know wear with some skinny jeans some like knee-high boots or whatever um make some nice makeup you know and you'll feel a bit more dressed up i can dress it down you can wear it with your with your jeans and your vans or something you know nine pounds i thought that wasn't bad at all um like i, said, I haven't tried this one on actually but i'm sure because it's quite big it'll fit well <laughs> okay next i picked up some leggings if you're watching my last Primark haul, you know I got a pair of leggings from Primark. They were like £2.50 and I was like, these are going to be rubbish. They're amazing. They're like, you can't see your pants through your leggings. You can't see your knickers. You're not showing them off to anybody. They, I got the long length, which I have gone for again. And they fit amazing. And they just, they're not like see-through like, you know, some are. I don't know if you can tell from here. Um, these were 280. I had it in my mind they were 250 last time, but I didn't actually go back and check. Apologies for that. But I had it in my head, but still, 
30 pence if it's gone up it's gone up it's fine um so again i got the extra long length because there's nothing worse than like your leggings rolling up and stuff so these i find very good um i got them in small which apparently is the equivalent to a 10 to 12 which is me down to a t um and again just standard black i just thought it'd be useful to have another pair um leggings they're so useful so you know they'll go with all sorts of like, loungy bouty clothes you know you can pop out i could probably pop them on with that shirt actually so multifunctional. okay along with the leggings they had um some shirts like legging shorts um and i did get a pair from collusion and asos that i took to disney with me and i absolutely loved those so i thought i'd pick up a pair of primarks they didn't seem as um well it seems smaller than the leggings if you know what i meant so i so i mean so i got those in a medium which is more of a 12 to 14 um but primark it's just hit and miss i haven't tried these on to see if they fit but i will be doing that for you now and these are two pounds 50 these i just thought would be useful for around the house um summertime or again doing what i did at disney where i put them under little dresses and things don't know how they'll fit um but obviously well i've tried those on for you now i'll let you know <laughs> um so yes I don't know if they'll be as good as the collusion ones but i also thought maybe for like exercise and things um which we'll get on to now okay chris and i have joined a gym we started seeing a personal trainer so i don't really have much in the way of exercise clothes i don't profess to be an exercise enthusiast let's just say um it's not really me but i thought um well, i've got the odd bits and bobs i can use to get away with you know like exercise i mostly use my sports bras to lounge about in because they're comfy <laughs> um but i did get some more bits okay firstly i got another kind of sports bra slash cropped um exercise top i guess why would does it refer to itself does it refer to itself as anything no not really um so this i got in a size medium again it was just judging it by eye really and i have tried this on and it does fit so that's a good so a medium does it say it's again equivalent to 12 to 14 but again it depends on your boob size and everything i'm sure uh, da, 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 da. so this was six pounds which i don't think is bad at all um it's really quite comfy it fits well it does come with like some padding in there which you can take out and i probably might end up doing that but i just thought the gray color go with a lot of different outfits and bits and bobs so useful to have in my exercise kit next and i got another pair of leggings okay so this time i got some from the exercise section or whatever it is to primax said the workout it's the workout range if that makes sense <laughs> so these are like elasticated workout leggings they are just a nice simple black um uh, didn't notice until i got this home and i am well pleased it's got a pocket it's got a pocket for your phone or whatever you want I love it when things have pockets that you don't expect to. <laughs> Such a child. Okay, so these were £10. Not bad at all. And I got them in a 12 to 14. Now, the size 10 in the other leggings fit me really well. But I have tried these ones on and these do fit really well. So I think it's just hit and miss Primark sizes. Um, so these are 12 to 14. Fit really, really well. There's a good bit of budge in them and stuff. Um, I just really like kind of they had a lot of exercise stuff at this time of year which i wasn't expecting um but i'm glad they did because obviously i needed to kick myself out i actually wouldn't mind going back um i i suppose where's my next item i've lost it um anyway i'll forget to that in a second um i have just ordered myself a workout top from boohoo which i thought would be like primarky prices because the next thing i'll show you um was workout top from primark um, and it was four pounds fifty from boohoo i got it it's massive to start with i don't think the straps will stay up and it was just really thick dodgy like thicker than that kind of workout legging material it was weird so that's going back um right the next thing i was going to show you i appear to have lost okay it was this it's not that exciting as it looks but it was a workout top from primark it's like lovely pale pinky purpley heathery kind of a color 
Um, I got this for £3.50. Um, it's really good. Again, 12 to 14 um, But again, it's got a little bit of looseness on it. I will try that on for you because it's in the wash at the moment because I wore it yesterday to the gym. So, and it was good. Worked really well for me at the gym. So, uh, £3.50. Lovely colour. Wish I'd picked up more. Like I said, they had a lot in the workout range. So, like I said, I'll be trying that on for you. Hope you'll see. It's just it's classed as pink. So, there you go. Check me out buying exercise clothes. That, I don't know. That was supposed to me looking like I was doing exercise something. I don't know. <sighs> okay, the next thing. And it is one of the things I wanted to get when I went in there. Um, I was after some long sleeved tops. Um, it's that time of the year where it's a little bit chillier. So, you want a longer sleeve. Um, but when I'm walking the dogs and things, you can get a little warm and you like your big walky coat at this time of year so I just instead of a t-shirt I wanted a longer sleeve type of thing rather than putting on a jumper or whatever if you know what I mean if you know what I mean so I got myself another standard black one I have actually purchased this from Primark for you know me and the blinking basics range love it to bits um so this is three pounds fifty it's called a stretch crew um basically it's just a very standard long black sleeved t-shirt for three pounds fifty again I got it in a size 12 to 14 I just find it's worth sizing up on um, that kind of basics range just so you've got a little give you've got a little room I don't like anything to be tight tight okay next and if you've seen my what's in my local Primark Disney edition uh, then you will have seen some of the Disney bits and bobs that they've got in at the minute picked myself up a couple obviously you can't not go into Primark and pick up Disney stuff if you're a Disney fan this is actually from Primark. It was on um, a haul I did last year. So, um, good old Primark. They did actually have this still in there when I was in there. So, worth a go. It's quite a nice little sweatshirt. It's quite thin, but it's like it keeps you warm enough, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll start off with this first one. I got a t-shirt. Um, couldn't resist it, really. It's a white one, and it says, Disney Princess. I like to feel think of myself as an honorary Disney princess and now I've been to Disney. Kind of am. <laughs> so it's just a large white t-shirt with some rose gold metallic Disney princess writing on there. Uh, Primark's Disney t-shirts are £5 pretty much across the entire range. I haven't seen any that aren't. Um, I got this again in a medium that's a 12 to 14. Um, it does look quite oversized but I like that about a t-shirt don't like my t-shirts to be fitted but that was super cute um like i say if you see my video you'll know they have a good range of t-shirts but that was the only one i picked up this time but i did actually pick up some disney sweatshirts so i will show you those next okay so on my last primark haul i did i picked up a mickey mouse like sweatshirt jumper dress type thing and i absolutely love that get so many comments on it so many um they didn't have any more jumper dresses but it's an almost a similar kind of design just a little bit more muted i picked up a sweatshirt that has mickey mouse on it just thought it was kind of cute for this time of year it's like a really easy thing to wear is like a sweatshirt like this like i said super cute so i like that um like i said it's not a jumper dress but i think i like it you know me and my Disney, this is just a Disney sweatshirt. Love it. Okay, so I picked this up again in a medium, which is a 10, no, 12 to 14. And this just cost eight pounds. Eight pounds, can you imagine paying like eight pounds or anywhere near that in Disney? Don't know how Primark do it. Don't know how they do it. But it's fabulous, like I say, I like the kind of sketched esque design. Um, I think that'll fit fabulous. You know me, I love my Primark sweatshirts, so it should fit fine. Okay, the next one, and it was kind of almost a surprise to me because it's Winnie the Pooh. And I thought I like Winnie the Pooh. I'm not like a big Winnie the Pooh fan. You know, it's okay, they're cute enough. Eeyore, bless him, I'd love to give him a hug type of a thing. Um, but I just saw this one and just thought it was so, like, cute for spring. Um, and it's bright yellow, very spring, summer-esque. And it's got the cutest little Winnie the Pooh design on there. I don't know if that's showing. Um, cutest little Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the Pooh on there with some flowers. I didn't even realise actually till afterwards that on the bottom it actually says Winnie the Pooh. But I just thought this was just the loveliest, cutest spring jumper. And it's Disney. So, you know, you know I love it. 
<laughs> so again I got it in a 12 to 14 um which oh, sorry medium which works out at 12 to 14 um and again it was eight pounds and it's something I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of like coming from winter to spring and things and just it's easy to wear out and about like I say with jeans some bands or if you're around the house with a pair of leggings or something to chill okay and I got another sweatshirt this time it wasn't Disney I just thought I had a cute message and I kind of liked the color quite similar to color to that um exercise top ish uh, but I'm sure this one's more classed as purple and it does say purple on the tag and um, so it's this sweatshirt purple sweatshirt apparently but it also has on there a cute little message that says dear person reading this I hope you have the best day I just thought that was super duper cute how nice passing on a little message of happiness to somebody walking by or whatever just thought it was a cute thing so I got this again size medium 12 to 14 um and this was five pounds i love their five pound sweatshirts just so useful you can like chuck them on really easily to pop to the shops and things or you know just lounge around i could probably wear this like over my gym kit to head to the gym whatever so versatile for five pounds i've had quite a few over the years love them okay last item in that final in that final bag in that first bag I can get rid of that now Hey, so it's a jumper. I got a jumper. Um, they had quite a few, like, really pretty ones, a little bit like this. Um, but I went for this one. And again, it's got that lilac in it. It's got pink in it. Kind of my kind of vibe. Um, it's this beautiful, creamy, like, floral print jumper. I just thought it was really nice. Like I said, they had a few similar ones. I think they had, like, a blue florally one. Um, possibly another lilac -y floral one. I um, just thought it was really, really nice. Again, in a medium. <laughs> <laughs> you'll pick that up uh, price was 15 pounds which is pricier for Primark but if you think if you bought this anywhere else it would be so much more and it's a jumper I'm going to get wear out of it now for a little while and then I'll get wear out of it again in the winter um so I thought it was cute I liked it like I said I could have picked up some of the other patterns but one's enough one's enough Okay, so we're moving on to the second bag and I think this might be the last item of clothing. I'm just having a little look now and I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Okay, so I wanted to get some kind of joggy sweatshirt bottoms just for around the house. Um, I have black pairs, but I have black pairs because we got Jake and Jakey's black. And Luna, God bless her, is white. So wearing black trousers with a white dog does leave a little bit of white hair um, so i thought i would get myself some gray ones and i love primark's joggers so good so i got a gray pair just a standard gray pair cuffed at the bottom um as i have primark joggers already i knew to get a size small which is 10 to 12 um these are a skinny fit apparently but they're fine and these are five pounds five pounds again primark killing it with the prices for the basics as always um so like i say they're just kind of they explain themselves to jockey bottoms okay next i got two pairs of shoes um both bargains absolute bargains yeah bargains firstly we'll kick it off with the disney pair i got disney Disney shoes for a Primark for a steal. Um, so these are like your kind of Converse dupes. And on there we have lots of little Mickey Mouses. Again, that kind of sketched design. And there's like gold detailing on the little eyelets and things. Um, just thought they were really kind of cute. And obviously the Disney, love them. <laughs> I do like the Primark like vans and Converse dupes. Very comfy, wear really well and are super duper cheap. These guys, okay, firstly, I've got them in a size five, I suppose. That's my size, Primark size fives usually fit like a glove. Um, so these should have been 10 pounds, which frankly is a steal in itself. 10 pounds for a pair of Disney, nonetheless, trainers, basically. Um, I got this for six pounds in the sale. Six pounds for a pair of shoes that are Disney. Six pounds. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> I really do. Primark, killing it with the Disney range, as always. Ooh, 
and it goes really nice with my top. The next pair aren't Disney, but I was after a pair of boots. I was actually hoping they'd had a pair of boots I bought in there previously, which I did see in there the last time I was in, but they're obviously gone now. Um, they were super duper comfy. But these, and I saw them and I really liked them. They're not necessarily my usual style, but I really, really liked them. Let me show you them. A pair of boots. They're like a lovely tan color. Tan, what do you say tan? Camel, apparently according to the label, label. Um, really nice like i say the kind of like a boot 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 nice chunky sole these should have been at 20 pounds again not bad these were 10 pounds guys 10 pounds for a pair of boots and i'll tell you what i have tried them on they are super duper 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 comfy they're amazing 10 pounds can you believe you get a gorgeous pair of boots like this 10 pounds I do love me some Primark bargains, I really do, and these, so good. And like I said, when I tried them on and I found out they were so comfy, amazing. There's the type of thing I can wear all over, really. I kind of think they kind of look nice enough that you can get away with wearing them out about a bit, you know, taking the dogs for a walk, whatever, really. Love them, love them. Okay, so the next item I have to show you was that bag I went in for. Um, as you know, Primark always have a fabulous range of bags, always have fabulous Disney bags and things. Um, I wanted to get a backpack that was somewhere in between, like my little Disney one I got from Primark last time and then this big rucksack I have. Um, just something in between to wear so I can fit a bit more in, but not too much in if you know what I mean. Anyway, I found this guy and he's beautiful. It almost has like designer vibes about it, it really does, but it's Disney. Can you tell it's got lovely little Mickey Mouse ears, so cute. Um, the front is like a white, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's like, in, it's not showing up is it? Showing up, little Mickey Mouses. So cute! And it's got like gold detailing on the handle there, on the zip and things. Um, just sounds really nice. We've got a little bottom compartment and a big top compartment. And it is that kind of in-between size bag that I think I will need. Um, got a few different bits and bobs I can do with it, you know what I mean? And it's just lovely. It's Disney. It's Disney. It's Primark, you know? Um, this was £14, which I don't think is bad at all for a bag that's Disney. Like I say, it's got like designer vibes about it almost. Really, really like it. So I look forward to wearing that. Okay, and the last item in the second bag. Another bargain. Love me a Primark bargain, as you will well know. <laughs> okay, this I just absolutely loved, loved, loved the colour of. It's a scarf. I don't know if it's going to come up on the camera as vibrant as it is. It's super duper vibrant, like hot pink, and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. And it's really nice. Um, so this should have been £6, but they had it on sale for £3. £3. Beautiful, hot pink scarf. I love it. Second bag, done. Okay, so I think the third bag's kind of full of all like bits and bobs. <laughs> let's just say bits and bobs. Ooh, let's start with this. And I know that it's not the most exciting purchase in the world, but for me, it really, really is. <laughs> if you watched my last Primark haul, my packing for Disney haul, I've talked about the comfortable, most comfortable knickers. I've ever owned in my entire life. I couldn't get the exact ones this time, slightly disappointed, but I think I picked up some very, very similar ones. I think we'll feel the same. And I hope so, because genuinely those pants are just the most comfortable, wonderful things, and I genuinely look forward to wearing them. <laughs> so, I picked up two different sets of knickers. Um, and again, it's in this kind of seam-free design that the last ones were. Um, and I genuinely, genuinely, so comfy. So, so, so comfy. And I can't even describe enough. Ladies, you know what it's like if you're wearing an uncomfortable pair of knickers. It ruins your day. Genuinely does. <laughs> um, so, I 
just picked up a couple of packs. I didn't even realise how big the other set are. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, so I got them in a size small, 10 to 12, which is what the other ones were. And like I say, fit perfect. Um, so these cost £5 for three pairs, which is what the last ones cost. And like I say, you think you could have got them from somewhere amazing because they are so good and I've worn them a lot. They've washed a lot and they still look good as new from Primark. Three for a fiver. So these are the Seam Free Mini Pack. So just a, your standard kind of pair of knickers shit, really. Um, so I got those. And then I also got another set. And these are the Seam Free Full Brief. And to be honest, until I got them home, I didn't realise kind of they are quite big, big knickers. Not like massive, massive, but like certainly quite huge. <laughs> Not bonkers. Um, I'll say these would be like lovely for kind of that time of the month, probably to just chill with wearing a nice big pair of pants. Um, so these are a size small again, and again, three for fiver. So six pairs of knickers for 10 pounds that are gonna be super duper comfy. Quite excited to see what these are like, actually. I'm not gonna try them on for you. Not gonna try them on, that's a little bit weird. Okay, next. No primer call from It's Me Ashley would be complete if I didn't include these. <laughs> they are Primark's 120 round cosmetic pads for 50p. So I stocked myself up on those, 50 pence each, Woo! 120. They're really good quality. The only ones I think that possibly rival the quality of these, and especially for the price, are possibly Aldi's Lacura ones, but 50p, 120. Stocked myself up. The next thing that I got, um, I noticed my hairbrush isn't looking the best at the minute. The one I'm using, and I actually did pick one up from Primark, not crazy long ago. Don't know where I put it. And you know, last year when my house was upside down, it's somewhere. I'll find it. But anyway, till then, picked myself up a mini Max one for three pounds. It's black and white. Of course, nice of my jumper I'm wearing at the present. Um, so that is a hair detangler. I do like the detangling ones. It's very similar design to the one I've got at the minute. Um, so three pounds Disney hairbrush. You know Primark, it does Disney and it does Disney Beauty really, really well. So that's cute. Okay, next from the Primark Beauty range and the only Primark Beauty stuff I actually bought other than that hairbrush. Um, if you've seen an Instagram post I did recently, um, somebody kindly sent me some false fake nails to try. Um, just press on ones, the glue one, and I really, really enjoyed wearing them. They were fabulous. She did an absolutely wonderful job. So check out that post if you haven't already over on my Instagram because genuinely just the most lovely service and I felt so much better about myself having nice nails. They were like longer than mine. They had a fancy pattern on that I didn't have to put any effort into. They removed quite easily. Um, anyway, let's just talk about these. I got some Primark nails to try. I actually got four packs. I did film a little quick video before I tried the other pack. Um, so I got four pairs. I've worn a pair. So easy to put on. So easy. They're wore. Fabulous. The pair that I wore cost a pound and I kept them on a week. They were so good. So, so good. However, a little bit harder to soak off than the previous set that I got so I don't know if it's the glue in here um but it took me a little while to kind of get them off and I ended up using like soaking them in acetone for a while um these are just my normal nails at the minute that I've painted I don't know what state they are under there um but for a pound the fact they wore so well for a whole week I can't complain really it, they, they, it took me a bit of effort to take them off so I got the pair that I got for a pound um, that I had on already. Those were like pointed nails. They were a nude colour. They were gorgeous. People said they loved them. So it was nice for a pound, genuinely for a pound. Um, but I also got a couple of other sets. I got some square Leto glossy ones. They're in an oyster colour. A French ombre set. So they've got a little bit more of a design about them for pound fifty, And then a square glossy mint coloured set um, just thought I'd try a range of different shapes and like colours and things just to see what they're like um, like I say perhaps a little tricky to get off um, we'll see how these ones go okay next we have a couple of random Disney items um, firstly let's look at how cute this thing is it's a Minnie Mouse pen so cute it's like a pink I don't think it's going to be coming up very well for you on the screen. 
Can you see it? It's like a pink um, with white dots design. It's got the cutest little bow. Just thought it was really, really cute, really me. So this was £1.50. Pedants aren't something I tend to buy an awful lot of in Primark. Although I think I actually maybe did pick up some pens on my last Primark trip. <laughs> anyway, super duper cute little mini mouse pen. Okay, the next thing, and it was actually something I went in for. Um, I love the Primark little lunch type of bags. I don't know if that's what they're actually designed for, but that's what I use them for. Um, anyway, my Mickey Mouse one that I have been using, I got on a previous Prim Primark haul you'll have seen. Um, I had a little bit of a disaster and my beetroot <laughs> leaked all over it, so I needed a new one. Um, and I forgot all about the fact that I needed this new one. And um, luckily, as I walked to the till, I had a couple of different ones. I went for this one, again, because it's Disney. It's Bambi. So, so cute. So cute. Like I said, these are really useful. Um, I think the non-Disney ones are a pound, um, but this just costs two pounds. And it's something I use, I take it to like work every day. So for two pounds, you cannot complain. You fit like a good amount in there. Um, if I open it out, I can show you a little bit. Is the zip's gonna work for me? It's like a little kind of square bag. You can fit a lot in. Um, like I say, my Mickey Mouse one, love it. Just a, a slight beetroot mishap. Okay, so just a couple of items left. I've probably uh, gone on for long enough. This video is gonna be long. I apologise, thank you for watching. Um, I got a couple of things from the home section. I'd seen posts on Instagram and things that the Primark's home section is just killing it at the minute. Unfortunately, my local Primark didn't have an awful lot of some of the things I'd seen online, but I did pick up a couple of bits and a couple of bargains too, my I add. Um, as you can see, my bedroom was redone last year. Um, so I got some bits I thought would go nice in there. Firstly, I picked up a couple of candle holders, like votive holders. Do they describe themselves as anything? No, they come in one size, apparently. Um, so that it's like this cute, lovely little pink with a bit of gold kind of detailing around the top. Just thought they would look nice in here somewhere. I um, haven't fully decided, but they kind of go with the colours of the bedroom, like that pinky colour and then the gold, like the lamps and things. So for a pound each, thought they were a really nice bag. So the final thing on the haul, and they wrapped this one up safe for me. Um, I got oh, what I'm guessing is like a little trinket dish in gold. It's kind of that kind of, what's the word for that? That dented gold word is escaping me. But it's this super cute little trinket dish. Um, I thought that might go on my bedside table for if I like to take any like rings or earrings or necklaces or whatever off. Just to pop on the side over there. Um, this one again, a pound. For a pound, I think that's fabulous. So that's everything on this Primark haul. There's a lot of stuff laid out in front of me right now that I'm gonna have to go put away. Um, but I think I picked up some nice bits. Not everything that I went in for, but I certainly spent the money that I had saved from Christmas. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching guys. I know this was a long one. Um, please drop me a comment and let me know what was your favorite thing I picked up or favorite things. Um, let me know, I'm always curious to know. Was there anything you, I picked up that you really didn't like? I'd also like to know that I suppose interesting everyone's different let me know so yeah drop me a comment let me know what you think and if you've enjoyed the video then please do me a favor and hit that like button give me a huge thumbs up that would be fantastic and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe i hit up primark quite often got disney bits and bobs if you're into disney coming all the time um yeah check out my channel you'll get the idea and if you are already subscribed thank you so much guys for watching yet again Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Take care and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.